children. Some of you are going to have a child come up to you and say something just like, whoa, okay? <laughs> Whether it's something you really needed to hear or if it's just uh, a communication, maybe, you know, children are still very open and they can bring messages through. They absolutely can. I just recently went somewhere where there were a lot of children running around. And one of the children, I caught her staring at me. And I just looked at her and I smiled. And then she did the eye contact thing. Now, this is something that can occur with children and animals will do this too. And she just held the eye contact for quite quite a while. And I just allowed, allowed it to happen to see what that experience was going to be. She was letting me know, I see you. I know who you are. And now you know who I am. Kids do that. Okay. Now what ends up happening is these children come into this world and they hit up on the frequency of everything we've set up. You know, millennials, y'all started this crap where you're like, oh my God, it's every generation that came before us is fault for everything. You started this. I, I guess I'm a zennial. I don't know. I, I got a little bit of fault from Gen X and millennials, but you know, that was just like, I'm, I'm kind of glad you're getting a taste of your own mess. And now with Gen Z, Gen Z's coming for you. And then uh, Gen Alpha, they ain't messing with you either. Uh, but anyway... Um, this whole, I don't even know where I was going with that. I got off track, but like children are basically they're pure and there's going to be some kind of pure connection coming in. Oh, I was saying that um, kids come in and they start getting conditioned by this world and the modeling that we're giving them is not very good. Um, you know, I'm joking with the millennials, but like you came into a world that was fat shaming, you know, bullying was acceptable and expected and you're somehow deserving of bullying if if you don't stand up for yourself like you know don't be so pathetic you know yeah I mean gross go back and watch an old 80s movie pretty bad <laughs> it's pretty bad some of the stuff and some of the words that were used back then now this can also mean you can indicate inner child some of you are so desperately trying to have a family um no one who before it was kind of like a free will thing. Like you could come into this realm and if you let, let's say you left having children be kind of a wild card, that's unusual. Usually it's, I would, I'm not gonna say destiny predetermined. I'm not gonna say that, but you have a good idea of whether you're gonna do this or not. Uh, and then people could come in and maybe they meet the love of their lives and they're like, well, with you, I wanna have a kid. And then they try and then uh, not everybody's soul contract has children in it. One of the things I'm really good at is fertility readings. I don't talk about that much. I've had some like crazy, crazy, crazy experiences with fertility readings. Let me tell you. Um, <laughs> like knowing when someone's pregnant. One of the hardest things about that is when somebody comes and they're wanting one and they're like, I know for sure, you know, I'm supposed to have a child in this realm. And I read their, their energy in their chart and there's no children in there. Nor are there any little, you'll feel like little souls around you. Now, that doesn't mean that they have to be born to you. I used to feel that all the time. Uh, and then it was really funny. My sister ended up having a child. And as soon, because I felt this little, little boy, I could feel a little boy around me. And as soon as she announced she was pregnant, I knew that was him. And that's Zayden. You guys have seen him in videos. So Zayden is like my kid. <laughs> like I just, because I could sense him before he was even born. But not everybody, you know, just for our purposes here, not everybody is meant to have kids. Um, and for others of you, children are bringing you a message. They are powerful, powerful little messengers. Uh, even if it's, hey, you look awful in that dress. <laughs> like, or whatever. <laughs> like, you're going to be getting told the truth. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.